Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be detailing PlayStation VR on PC, what you need to know. So recently Sony released their PSVR2 USB adapter for PC, but it turns out you don't actually need to buy the adapter provided you have specific hardware that supports the VR headset out of the box. So one example of that is the AMD reference graphics cards from either the RDNA 2 generation, like this 6900 XT, for example, that feature a USB-C on the back. This USB-C port has Virtual Link, and this one works perfectly. So either if you don't have a 6900 XT, the 6800 XT, or the 6800 non-XT from the RDNA 2 family also feature that USB-C port. Now, besides those, the other options are going to be the 7000 series. We often talk a lot about video game performance when comparing PC hardware on this channel, but are you thinking about what it would be like to program games to better take advantage of the hardware? That brings me to the sponsor of this video, Southern New Hampshire University, or SNHU. Southern New Hampshire University's online game development program gives you the knowledge and experience to create your own video games and help turn it into an actual career with opportunities for growth. You'll learn how to bring characters and environments to life with 2D and 3D modeling, texturing, and game physics. How to create dynamic and challenging experiences developing game AI. The university program covers major programming languages like C++, C Sharp, and Java, all fundamental to game programming. The courses are taught by faculty with real-world experience, so you'll have opportunities to connect and network with people in industry. The university also helps after graduation with the job hunt process. SNHU is accredited and has radically affordable tuition. SNHU was voted one of the country's most innovative universities by U.S. News & World Report. Go to snhu.edu slash gtr, also linked in the description of this video, to see if you qualify for SNHU's game development program or to simply learn more. You might be eligible for financial aid or have previous college credits transfer over to fast-track your degree at SNHU. Click the link to get started. So, if your graphics card looks like this, this is a 7900 XT. So as long as your graphics card has a USB-C on the back, that's all you would need to get the headset to work and the cameras to track and everything to work with the PC. All right, and then just to kind of show an example here, here we have a 7900 XTX reference card. So this is the AMD reference card. It has to be a card. It doesn't have to be a reference card, but it has to have a, a USB-C on the back. And if we look at the back of the graphics card, you guys can see here, I have the PSVR2 headset plugged into the USB-C port as well as triple monitors out. The other thing that you'll need to have hardware-wise is Bluetooth built into the motherboard. The, and the other thing you want to make sure of is you have to have the antenna connected to the motherboard. If you do not have the antenna connected, the signal strength for the Bluetooth wireless will be very, very weak and you'll end up having a problem where the controllers will lose connectivity to Steam VR and they'll just act like they're it's it'll act like the battery has died when when they could be at full charge. So make sure you have the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi antenna connected to the PC. That is probably the thing that I think most people are going to forget to do and they're going to go out and buy a Bluetooth adapter, but the reality is you don't have to buy a Bluetooth adapter if you have Bluetooth on the motherboard. So in my case, I haven't had to buy any additional hardware besides the actual VR headset itself. So I already have a graphics card that supports the headset and then my motherboard, in this case, this is an X670 Gigabyte Aorus Elite AX featuring a 9700X CPU. So this, this works flawlessly as we'll demonstrate here shortly. Now all you need to do is you need to download the PlayStation VR 2 app for PC. So you're going to go to Sony's website and get that. It'll tell you the kind of the requirements in terms of hardware. You basically need to have three apps installed. Steam obviously needs to be installed because the PlayStation VR 2 headset uses Steam and Steam VR, which will be the second app. And then finally the PlayStation 2 VR app. You can download that here directly from the website. These other two will take us to download Steam and Steam VR. Once that is once that application is installed, you'll get this when you open the application up. 
VR headset. So now what we need to do is, assuming we have the headset connected, you'll notice that the red light, the standby light is on. So we're going to power out that on. And then sure enough, it's going to show up there. Okay. If there's any firmware update, it'll want to do a firmware update. And then for the controllers, the same deal. We want to turn these on. So I'm going to press the power button on the PlayStation button. And you can see full charge on the right controller. And then for the left one, same thing. We're going to press the power button. And these also have LEDs on them down here. So you guys can verify that they're running. You can see, and they show up in there. Okay, so I have Beat Saber up right now, just as an example. You guys can see here with Steam VR, you can monitor the headset. All of it enumerates here, and it shows that it's actually the Sony stuff and not Oculus or not Valve. So you can see, and it, it shows we're at 1.3 out of 8.3 milliseconds on 120 hertz so this is this is as of now this is probably the best most cost effective vr headset that is a tethered headset so it's not wireless but there are pros and cons of a headset being tethered wired versus wireless i never have to worry about batteries i never have to worry about compression So that's pretty much it. Works perfectly. This is one of the best headsets for VR that's wired. You can either use the included earbuds or you can use your own headphones. And it's an OLED screen. So an OLED screen is top notch, especially for VR. So you guys found this video useful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.